So right next to the phone app is gonna be the text messaging icon. Okay, here's our text messaging screen. And right now I have just one text message in my uh, inbox. If I wanna start a new message, I'm gonna tap on the start chat button. And from here, I'm gonna type in the phone number of someone that I want to send a text message to. Let's type in a phone number, or you can type in a name if you already have someone saved in your contacts. So we typed in this phone number and oh look, this person's number is saved into the phone. I can tap on that and now I've just started a conversation with Jim Miller. At the bottom of the screen you have a box that says text message. You'll wanna tap on that box and that's what brings up your keyboard. And here I can type my message, hi, and hit this button which is your send button and that's what sends off the message. Now, you have a lot of other options that are on screen. So first, we have an emoji shortcut button here. If we tap here, I can select an emoji or I can, so here's your emojis. I can search for a GIF. Maybe you wanna send them a happy Friday or you can do a search and search for a specific emoji just like that. Let's put that one in there and then let's send it off. So we just sent a hi and the LOL emoji. Now, if you wanna attach a picture, cause you wanna send someone a picture, you'll tap on this little icon here. This looks like a picture frame with a camera. And this will allow you to see your current pictures that are on the phone. You can swipe all the way through, or you can tap on folders and see more pictures that way. This was the screenshot that we took a few minutes ago. We can simply tap that. And I can also add more pictures if I want. You can add, I believe, up to 10, depending on how large they are. And then you'll tap on that send button to send off the message. You also have a plus, and this takes you to a menu with a lot more options. So stickers, files, contacts. You can schedule a message to be sent out later. You can send someone your location by tapping here. So you have a lot more options there. Now, the last thing I wanna show you, this is the, my favorite feature of just the keyboard in general, is this uh, microphone right here that if I tap this, instead of me having to type out the message, I can just say it. Now, the first time you tap it, it's gonna ask for permission for it to be able to record your voice while it's trying to capture that for the message. So I'm gonna tap while using this app. And let's try this one more time. Tap on the microphone, and then I'm gonna start saying my message. Hey, aren't these pictures funny, period? You're gonna press the microphone when you're done so it'll stop transcribing what you're saying. It typed everything I just said, and now I can hit that send button to send off the picture. So that's a brief rundown. There's a lot more you can do, but those are the main things you'll need to know. If you wanna to get to your numbers or an exclamation point or a special character, you tap on uh, in the bottom left corner, this question mark one, two, three, and this takes you to more options for the keyboard. And yeah, that's a brief rundown of sending a text message. Now, I wanna show you what it looks like when someone sends you a message. Let's hit our home button and go to the home screen. I'm gonna send myself a message. So my text message just came through. It says, you home. I can tap on one of these pre-recorded responses. Oh, my message went away too fast. How do I respond to it? Well, you swipe down from the top of the screen. That message will show up in your notification panel and I can see all these pre-recorded responses here, or I can tap reply, and I can reply right from my notification panel. Yes, sir. And then tap on the send button to send it out. I guess what, we're done with this message, so I'm just going to swipe it away just like that. And so that's what it looks like when a new message comes through. Now one more important thing to note, when you have a new message, your text messaging app will have a little blue dot in the upper right corner. You'll see a little dot right there, and that's telling me that I have a new message. If I tap on that icon, I can see, oh, this is a new message, and I have one new message from that person, 
and I can tap on it to see the message. So that's how you'll be able to decipher when you have new messages that come through your inbox. Hope you guys found that video helpful. If it was, please hit that like button down below and make sure you subscribe. And also consider hitting the little heart and leaving us a tip. Now this was a snippet from our larger beginner video. You can find the full video right here. And here you can find a link to all the other videos I've shot on this phone to help you continue to learn and see all the things you can do with this phone. Thanks again for watching. Take care and as always, have a good one.